when I'm approaching sisters, should I tell them uh, I will be into polygamy down the line when I when I have wealth or no? Only if she brings it up. <clears throat> okay. There's no need for you to go and bring it up. If she if she doesn't bring it up, there's no need for you to bring it up. But I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. It's hard for a woman, even even if she does bring it up, it's hard for her to take a man seriously. This whole polygyny thing, unless you know there's something special about him, it's hard for her to like. It's like, what, bro? Who are you? Because when it comes to polygyny, it's not something that really needs to be explicated or explained. When you're that guy, women just know. Khalas, yeah. this man is not gonna be loyal to me. He's gonna have multiple wives. And when you're not, it's hard for her to see you in any different light. So don't go out of your way to bring it up. But if she brings it up, how else you talk about it? All right. And uh, second question is, since you were talking to the nude person about the reverse, like not liking something because of your experience. So mm -hmm. I had, growing up, I, I'm Pakistani. I had horrible, like not horrible, but I had bad experiences with the woman. And that makes me not like them. Like I always go towards Arab women and approach them for marriage and i wanted to know if this is something wrong or should i change this about myself or whatever repeat the question what do you mean so like i had bad experiences growing up around pakistani women mm. and i'm pakistani so i always tell my parents that i'm never marrying one of mm. the women like mm -hmm. yeah 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 that's the, see, that's the perfect example of defining yourself in reverse by your experience there's good Pakistani women, there's bad Pakistani women. There's good Arab women, there's bad Arab women. There's good, good and bad people everywhere in every race and every ethnicity. There's good and bad everywhere. Do some ethnicities have a greater <clears throat> proclivity towards certain emotions than others? Yes. My experience, for example, with those from the Indo-Pak subcontinent is uh, particularly the women. They tend to be, uh, we have a say in Arabic, film handy. Film handy, ma'anata, yani, uh, it's all emotional, bruv. Yes, of, exactly. It's all whole, emotional. It's all emotional because of the whole Bollywood scene. It really perpetuates yeah. these, these these crazy wild emotions, you know. Um, so that's that's my experience. In different cultures, Latina women, for example, are known to be quite fiery. Uh, Colombian women, the same. But at the same time, they uh, Allah says they have a reputation for being, you know, uh, feisty lovers. So different cultures have different uh, reputations and so on. But there's good and bad women in all. And uh, the third, the another thing is that <clears throat> I don't know if you know what Chachi is. It's an ethnic group yeah, in yeah. Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah. So people don't give us their daughters because we, you know, we're like we're known for like bad things. Like we have bad stereotypes to us. We're really harsh people. This and that. And I've approached Pakistani women for marriage, but it always comes up. Oh, you're Chachi. You're from Artuk. I, I can't give you my daughter. You, you, you people are like savages. This mm -hmm. and that. And I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go from there. Just look elsewhere then, bro. I don't know what to say. All right. You know, just look elsewhere, inshallah. All right. Thank you, brother. Okay, Habibi. Yeah, Allah. Allah. You know, guys, I think a lot of you already know the answers to a lot of your questions. You know, I think a lot of you already know the answers to a lot of your questions, but you just want to hear it again from someone else. So if you like that clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.